Hello, it's me. <laughs> it's been so long. Welcome back to my channel. Just kidding. Um, what's up? I know it's been a really, really long time since I've made a YouTube video. And as I sit in my car and wait for the windshield to de-thaw, we're gonna chit chat about that. Um, because obviously, I really don't think there has to be this like huge thing behind it to be honest with you, but I also am an open book. So I just wanna chat about it because I think that it's interesting. And I think that maybe there are people out there that need to hear this. So um, if you guys watch my videos, you kind of knew that I was really into the whole like bettering myself and really working on my mental and just making sure that I was like becoming the best version of myself. And I think that that's like the best thing that you can ever do in life is really really focus on you and take the time that you need do whatever you got to do to like make it possible because that's so so important and obviously <clears throat> that journey has not stopped and I'm still riding it and I'm loving it um but I <clears throat> goodness I can't talk sorry I'm actually like not sick but I'm kind of getting over a little something something but I think with that journey, you are constantly evolving and honestly a goal of mine is to constantly be evolving every single day into like the best version of myself no matter what that means. And um, so I think for a little while I just like started having other priorities like I really kind of focused on like hanging out with new people and meeting new friends. And so during that time, I just didn't make YouTube really a priority. And to be quite honest with you, I didn't really even watch YouTube videos. Like there was a point where I was watching YouTube videos like literally every single day, like binging certain channels and like certain types of videos. And that was super fun. And I think with everything in life, like sometimes you just, I don't even wanna say outgrow it because here I am like filming a video, hi. I didn't outgrow it, I just like, took a little break and I don't even want to call it that because like maybe I'll take a break again I just do like on the daily what feels right to me you know what I mean and like maybe sometimes that's not watching YouTube videos and it's not because I have like any beef with YouTube or the people I'm watching like it's not even about that it's just about like waking up every single day wow I'm getting deep over here but waking up every single day and just doing what feels right to you and for a little bit like making a YouTube video was just not on sorry my hands like cramping up <clears throat> was just not on my like to do and it wasn't something that I felt like inspired to do and then honestly like yesterday I randomly just felt like oh I want to make a YouTube video and so I know that this is probably like so drawn out and it's really not that big of a deal. But I don't know, I'm just all for like doing what feels right to you, um, you know, in that moment, as long as it's not like hurting yourself or anybody else. Obviously like, you know, being the best version of yourself. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much where I've been. Um, it's not like nothing happened, cause like some people are like, oh my God, you don't make YouTube videos anymore, like what happened? And it's not about like what happened, it's just, I mean obviously, you know, like it's not like YouTube's my career, YouTube is truly just something that I genuinely enjoy and I think is really fun to do and I think it's therapeutic to film and edit the videos and so it's truly just something I do for fun, but not every day do people do like what they view as fun. Um, I don't know if that made any sense at all, but that's just kind of where I'm at and I wanted to just share because I think sometimes there's just so much, there's so much pressure around like what people choose to do with their life. And since we are constantly evolving, like maybe something that's attractive to me today will no longer be attractive to me next week and that's totally okay. I think you have to like really meet yourself where you are and do the things that just feel right to you. And I will be quite honest with you guys, I'm absolutely loving where I'm at. I obviously know I have like a bunch more work to do because I truly do want to like work on myself in so many different areas, but I love that I've gotten to the point where I can just meet myself where I am. Like if I'm not having a great day, like I just truly accept it and I love myself regardless. I think I saw a quote like several months ago and it pretty much says, wow, I'm like all over the board with this story. <laughs> I hope you guys are still tracking. Um, but it basically was saying like loving yourself only at a certain, like only if you look a certain way or like do a certain thing isn't self-love, it's self-destruction. And I agree 100%. Like I'm loving myself every single day no matter what that day looks like. Wow, I'm really cramping up. I guess I haven't held a camera in so long since I've just been MIA from YouTube. But 
yeah so i just kind of wanted to have a little talk like i love deep talks and it just feels good to me another thing that i'm going to add and then i'm probably going to cut it off because i'm literally low on gas and i feel like if i sit here in my car with my car running i'm going to need to be towed out of my uh, driveway so let's cross our fingers that doesn't happen but Dang it, I lost my train of thought. Oh wait, just kidding, just kidding. Another thing was, it's not like I just went MIA, but whenever I first um, picked back up on my YouTube, I literally didn't even have an Instagram account anymore. Like I had one, but I wasn't using it. I didn't even have the app on my phone. And now I, like once I stopped with YouTube, I really dived deep onto like my Instagram with like sharing a bunch of like self love and just positivity and motivation and just like sharing, you know, my life because I'm personally into that. And if you're not like no worries, at all but I don't know I just like to share like what goes on in my life because you know I guess to me maybe somebody else needs to hear it and I know that like that is true like for sure um, but yeah so I've been super active over on Instagram so obviously if you guys don't follow me on Instagram y'all can always follow me over there because um, like I said I'm super active on that and pretty much like post every single day on my story <laughs> no matter what it is um, so yeah I have just been like meeting myself where I am you know Instagram was super or was something that I really like wanted to get a little bit like more into because I hadn't had it in a long time I deleted it for a few months, which was really refreshing and I think needed um, but now I'm like back at it and I love it I really do because I have such a better mindset behind social media and using it for Positive rather than the negatives because I know that there's a lot of negatives, but like you guys Skirt there's a lot of positives um, with social media too like I just follow so many accounts now where they share so much about like self-love and you know just like the journey of becoming your best self and like spirituality and just all of it and so social media has like turned into a really positive thing for me now so I don't know I'm just really happy with like where I'm at and you know my mindset not not only that but like just all around like I'm not saying my life's perfect by any means it's absolutely not like no way Jose but I'm just like thankful I'm thankful for where I am because I know that things could always be so much worse and I don't know I'm just grateful but I hope you guys are still listening to this rant wow seven minutes of me ranting you guys are welcome I know that y'all needed that but also I feel so much more comfortable in front of a camera now that's what I was gonna say since I really got into Instagram I was like filming stories of me like actually talking and so it really helped me feel comfortable and like maybe you guys can even tell that like I'm a lot more comfortable on camera even though I haven't filmed a YouTube video in months but since I've been on Instagram it's just helped because like either way it's like you're filming yourself um, I don't know so I think that it's just helped a lot the time was needed and I'm not coming on here to say like oh I'm back bitches and like I'm back for good and like there's gonna be a video going up like once a week like that's not what I'm saying but if I want to make a video I'm gonna make a video and if not then I'm not but welcome welcome to my channel if you guys like what I'm about even in the slightest um always be sure to subscribe and in this video we're gonna be doing a little weekend vlog i am getting my hair done today and i'm also getting my eyebrows done tomorrow i'm getting them laminated and tinted and i've never had that done before so i'm hype really hype um i'm not gonna tell you guys what i'm doing with my hair yet because it's gonna be a surprise and like to be quite honest i'm not even sure i know what i'm doing with my hair yet but i'm excited okay thank you guys for listening to my rant rant over all right i just got gas and treated myself well lighting's marvelous isn't she and treated myself to a little matcha latte and i always get it with oat milk from duncan also i'm on the duncan train because they have oat milk and starbucks doesn't which is so Weird to me because Starbucks is way more established than Duncan. So like why do they not have oat milk? I don't know But I am kind of scared because I feel like this isn't oat milk that they put in here and I got a large so like if I'm drinking a large thing of like Regular milk, we're gonna have serious problems If you know what I mean like sorry To overshare maybe but like let's just hope it's oat milk, right? All right, I had a little outfit change because I just wasn't feeling what I was wearing So this little pullover is a pretty little thing. I want to say same with the jacket But these are both from like last year and then some Lulu leggings and these little Zara sneakers and I'm feeling this a lot More I'll link it all down below if it's still available, but like I said, it's old. So there's really just no telling Oh my god Hello, hello, hello. It's like a brand new person. I 
I think I love it. I think I do. I know it's like obviously so different and so like it's hard to kind of get used to and also she curled my hair but I kind of envisioned it like wearing it straight so I like straightened over it and the straightness didn't hold super well like this side it did but this side kind of not but I am feeling myself also sorry about my dad's bathroom and it's like in the middle of being redone but here we go here I am new savvy what do you guys think honestly it won't hurt my feelings do you guys like it better long or are you guys kind of like on the same bus with me with the straight hair because I think I, I'm sorry I keep looking at the viewfinder because I'm like I can't believe that my hair is this short I am not used to it at all but let me know in the comments down below if you guys like it and if you don't like it you can literally tell me like I can handle it all right hello again you guys it is now 10 10 on Friday night and first of all I want to address the skin so my skin is just having like a total moment and I don't really know what's going on because typically my skin is actually very under control and it's very odd to me that it's just in this one area and it's not on this side so I'm wondering like maybe I touch that side more often I don't really know but I just want to show you guys because I like to show real life and my skin is just not doing so hot lately so that's just the reality of it but my advice to you guys is if you're having a bad skin day, stressing out about it only makes it worse and it's totally out of your control. So like stressing over it is just like silly. And I know it's hard not to, but it really does happen to everybody and it's not the end of the world. It happens. So anyways, I am exhausted. It feels like it's like 3 a.m. or something and I'm just so tired. And I also have a appointment tomorrow at 9 30 for my eyebrows i think i might have mentioned that so tomorrow i'm getting my eyebrows laminated and tinted for the first time ever i'm so excited so since it's like kind of early and it's in nashville um i'm gonna have to wake up a little early so it's gonna be an early night for me good morning it is so early i feel like 7 32 um i have my appointment at like 8 30 or something um, so I need to get ready and get the heck out of here. Wow, is that another one? Is that a new one? Cool, love that, love that for me. Ish, they are incredible. If you guys are in the area, I'm gonna link her Instagram on the screen because wow, she was so sweet and very like genuine and she did an amazing job, like wow. I am so obsessed with these. I think they look so, so good. And um, it really wasn't even that expensive either. So, new me. I feel like I'm just pampering myself. Like, last weekend I got my lips touched up. This weekend I'm getting my eyebrows done, my hair chopped. Like, wow. What's next? I'm excited. I just finished cleaning my room. And it is looking so much better. I feel so good now because I really do not... Um, thrive very well whenever things are not in line why is my camera so blurry here we go um i don't really thrive whenever things are messy so i just feel so much better i listen to good music clean my room i vacuumed put tons of things away um and now it's so weird because it's only 109 and it feels like it's three o'clock um, but I have not eaten anything today, so I'm probably going to go have something to eat. Um, and then I do need to go run some errands. I pretty much did all of my gift shopping, except for like one or two minor things. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get that out of the way today. And then wrap them. And um, I might go hang out with my mom later, because my mom actually gets into town today. I'm really excited. So yeah, that's what's going on over here. I am starving. It's actually crazy that I'm not like, I haven't noticed it yet because usually I'm literally hungry like right at noon because that's when my body is used to eating. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really hungry and I don't know, I feel so lazy right now. I really don't want to go run errands, but I know I need to. So let me, let me do that. Let me get that done. All right. I'm finally eating something. So I made my blender bomb smoothie, which is so good. Um, basically, I told you guys what I was gonna, or er, I can't even talk. I told you guys I was gonna explain what a blender bomb was. Frick, 
like I already just stained my my bedding because I didn't realize there was something on the bottom of this. Cool. No big deal. I'm getting a new one soon anyway. Um, but basically what a blender bomb is, is it's a nutrient dense like protein ball, not protein ball, but it's like packed with like all the omega threes and it pretty much turns your smoothie into a meal replacement. And I've had multiple meal replacement things in the past, whether it be like those little protein shakes or, you know, something that you add in and they've maybe kept me full for like 30 minutes, maybe, maybe an hour. This thing right here, truly, and I'm not even exaggerating, has kept me full for up to four hours before. And that's incredible to me because I'm a really big snacker and I like support snacking all the way, but sometimes it can get out of hand and um, I typically let it get out of hand. So this is just super easy for me to be able to make and keep me full for a very long time. So typically, I've also talked about this before on YouTube, I'm pretty sure I, I have talked about it on Instagram. Um, again, if you don't follow me there, you should. Savannah Bell. Um, but I also do intermittent fasting, so I really don't eat until like noon. So what I do typically is I'll have this for lunch and then, um, have like a meal for dinner and it keeps me full up until dinner and I'll have like one snack. So I'm having my blender bomb smoothie and then I also made a little breakfast wrap with eggs, bacon, has like bell peppers and then I use the Chick-fil-A sweet and spicy sriracha sauce I think is what it's called because that shit is next level if you haven't tried it you have to I literally like get a ton whenever I go to Chick-fil-A and then the ones I don't use I just keep for putting it on other stuff so I'm gonna eat this and then I might watch a little bit of a show but then again I might also run errands because I should do that but maybe since I haven't eaten that's why I'm not motivated to do anything I don't know after this meal, hopefully I'm ready to kick ass. Who knows though. Say hello everybody. Mm. Hi. Say hello to the vlog. Mm. Mommy. Way. Hi. We're about to watch Christmas with the Cranks and get cozy wozy. My skin is still not any better. It's fine though. Have the most talented sister in the whole wide world show me the socks she made a white pair of socks show me the okay I'm gonna show you guys the original pair of socks and then what she made so stay tuned because her and I are about to get artsy okay so this was the pair of socks before so they were literally just plain white socks and she She put that design on these socks with what? Like Sublimation an iron? Ink. Sublimation ink. She is so cool and talented. And isn't this so cool? I want a pair. And they're so soft. Hit her up if you want some goodies. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Sunday, you guys. We are about to wrap presents because I don't know how so my sister is gonna help me well lighting's great skin 100 um, but first we're gonna eat breakfast which is kolaches and a donut if you guys don't know what kolaches are you gotta get on it they're so good aren't they they're so delicious what would you rate a kolache on a scale of 1 to 10 a 10. Okay. A 12. There you go. A 12. Answer's out. Gotta go try them. And just so you guys know, my awesome brother-in-law got them for us this morning. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks a lot. <laughs> feeling so much better because I finally did my makeup I can actually put on makeup now um, but I'm home now obviously and I just got ready I showered did my hair and I'm really liking it straight I think I like it the most straight because I really like how I can like curl the ends in a little bit oh, god I feel like I look like a mom I'm sorry I know I keep looking at the viewfinder I'm gonna try hard to stop it's just so hard not to um, but 
I am about to run a little bit more errands because I need to get a few more gifts for people and then um, I did wrap a good majority of my gifts this morning but there's still some that I need to get to so I'm gonna do that um, and I need to write a list before I go out because I'm telling you guys like I literally get in my car and go to like the first store and I just completely forget everything that I need and I get home and I'm like dang it I forgot that and it's really annoying so I need to make a list of all the things that I need to get and then I'm gonna go out and shop around and then I think I'm gonna go grocery shopping today I don't know if Trader Joe's is over on Sundays hold up please hold okay yeah so I think I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's tonight it's so hard going to Trader Joe's just because Trader Joe's gets really really busy and you know they're obviously following like all guidelines and stuff so there's like sometimes lines outside and if there's a line I just won't even go but what's annoying is it's all the way in Nashville so it's like once I drive there I'm like Ugh, I've already driven so far so usually what I do is I go at like 8 because no one's there at 8 and they close at 9 so I have like a full hour to myself and like the store is pretty empty so it's just really easy that way but I need to stop chatting and go get a bunch of stuff done so I will see you guys then and I'm actually really glad I've been vlogging this weekend. It's actually been really fun. I missed it a lot. That doesn't mean I'm going to like do this every single weekend necessarily, but maybe. I mean, if you guys actually enjoy it, then I guess that's different. Um, I guess let me know. If you're watching this and you're still and you're still watching, let me know in the comments if you like my vlogs because I obviously just live a very like regular life, so it's not like my vlogs are like going to consist of like crazy wild experiences, but I do appreciate you guys watching anyway. <laughs> all right, I'm all ready to go. I have this little sweatsuit on from Misguided. I've worn this in videos before. And then these boots from Zara. I know this looks like kind of different, but I'm kind of into it. And then this little bum bag and my candy because I always have to have candy with me. Okay, so I got really, really stressed because I wasn't sure what to get my stepmom because she like, she's kind of like me. Like if she wants something, she just buys it herself. And so I was like, I really don't know what to get her. Like. I have literally no idea because like I mean I guess she has hobbies but like she has all the stuff in order to do those hobbies and so I called my dad and I was like dude you have to help me come up with something to get her I was at this really cool home store which by the way if you guys haven't been to a store called at home I just went for the first time today it's been here for years and I was like I kind of just got weird vibes from it because it was where Kmart used to be and so I was like oh like maybe I judged a little bit and I just thought it wouldn't be like a very good home goods store and I thought it was kind of going to be like chaotic inside um no it's literally the coolest thing ever and honestly I want to go back but right now I'm just like buying for other people right now and not myself but if you guys have one near you check it out it's really really cool and they have the craziest stuff there like I'm talking like the all sorts of vases like I remember going to Hobby Lobby to like try and find a vase and there was like eight there's like 500 types of aces in the store. It's crazy. Anyways, so long story short, I finally got something out of my dad and he was like, she really wants new makeup brushes. And you know, like there's obviously way like different types of makeup brushes out there. So I was like, I need you to show me what kind of makeup brush she wants because she replaces the one she has every year. So we have a cute, <laughs> he FaceTimed me and held, holds up the brush. So funny. So I guess that's what I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna get her like a set of makeup brushes, which honestly, I might even need new makeup brushes because I think that maybe that's why my skin's breaking out. Who knows? But yeah, that's what I'm about to do and I've been running around for it feels like five hours. So I need to get my butt home because I'm like really just lazy right now. And I don't know, I hate running errands. I really do, like that's why I do all online shopping. Ugh. It's fine though, everything's gonna be fine. Oh my God, I'm actually out of breath from just walking up the stairs. That's a problem. Um, but I think I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here because I just need to finish wrapping some Christmas presents and eating this pound cake that I just got for myself. But I had a really fun time vlogging can I speak? Vlogging again, like I mentioned earlier. And if you guys enjoyed this vlog, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the captions if there are any videos that you guys want from me or if you guys want to see more vlogs only because that helps me decide like what I should film for you guys. Um, anyways, I hope you guys have a great week and a Merry Christmas and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye. <laughs>